Hello and welcome back to Roller Coaster Tycoon, where we are looking at our latest creation, which is the uh, exorcism of Father Abram, <laughs> the Holy Father. He gets exercised. <laughs> Do your push-ups. <laughs> oh no, wait, that's exercised. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, we don't know the ratings yet, uh, but we'll get back to that later on. Um. I also feel like there has been a ride that I also haven't checked the ratings of, <laughs> but I forget which one it was. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, no, I know what it is. Look, yeah, we totally forgot to check in on guest 1051. <laughs> no, that's all that I meant. <laughs> six and a half in the ratings, look at that. Almost a six and a half. Definitely not bad, and that makes it really... Uh, stand out a little bit uh, from uh, this coaster and this one. Now, uh, for the next coaster that we're going to build, we definitely want uh, one that's even higher in the ratings and with the budget going the way it's going, I think we'll be able to. Man, look at our money. <laughs> look at the cash we're producing. <laughs> it is insane. Also, we just keep spending on more rides, so it's going to add up and add up and add up, so it's all good. Let's do a quick round of vandalism and cleanliness inspection before we uh, move on to business as usual. I see two specks of vomit, but I'd say that's on the limit of what's acceptable. Also, with our underground stuff that we have, uh, we should actually use this view to do this inspection that we're doing. Now... I might be seeing this wrong, but as far as I can tell, I don't see anything broken. So, that's one thing checked. Um, as for prices, how are we doing? Game? Do I need to work on something? Seems not. I do see that pretty much all our queues are filled up though. So that's uh, an issue. With all the short queues that we have, we really need more rides. So we need to keep on building like crazy. Because... Uh, well, yeah, well, because we need more rides for the guests to go on. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> oh, and yeah, there's the micro Dutchman. Can I just get... <laughs> I don't think... It, it, yeah. <laughs> just yeah. <laughs> nice. Right, okay. Um, Before we continue, I also want to check out a few things. Like, how, wh which has the worst queue time? That is Psychosis. There's not much we can do here. Um, one, two, three, four, five. You have the capacity of... Yeah. I guess if we kept it one shorter, then we would have seen this pretty much uh, cut in half. But because if the queue is full and uh, it, it takes a full load, then they move up to here or something. Which technically means that for the back end of the queue, yeah, it is going to be six minutes. So, lesson learned. Instead of a five long queue, actually, if it's, if this is five long, we need like a four long queue. Because it's not only the back end, it's the whole last tile plus then the last uh, half of the fourth tile. So, it's... Good to know, but that looks all right. I want to also see profitability. Uh, where was it? Profit. Yeah, sword. Look at that. The polter splash and the haunting of the hills. Those are like the two um, most profitable coasters. How good is that? Those are our two water coasters. And that's the grim remorse. Isn't it the haunting of the hills? The polter splash. Yeah, what, what am I looking at? The, yeah. Our two water coasters are like the most profitable. Things from now on, I mean, Frightmare and Sweet Dreams, as nice as they are, they are not our most profitable uh, coasters. However, everything's crash proof, so good, nice, we know enough. Um, You know what I want to do? Uh, last time we got like the slide, which was nice. Um, and before that we got like this water uh, coaster, so I feel like... Uh, maybe we should get, like, uh, a path expansion, like, expand all the way, you know, finish this first loop. So we have the whole room here available, and then also get, um, like, a, uh, well, this wasn't exactly what I was thinking of, 
But we might as well try and see if we can give this a uh, fair shot. Uh, are we gonna? You know what? Why don't we? Um, I think we can also get uh, away with uh, something pretty cool, actually. Looking... Yeah, I, I even see potential for a track. Nice. Yeah, we could. I, th I think we can uh, figure something out. Um, let me see here for a moment. Height 13, height 10, definitely. Oh yeah, there is something possible. It's not really what we should do first, though. Also, the eggheads. Hoo-ha belly. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> that's nice. Nice. This is a very good tower to build. We're definitely going to, uh, but uh, we'll get to that later. Let's first do the pathing. So let's get that expansion path expansion out there, and let's also sort the uh, shops and stalls for it. Because, meep, meep. <laughs> because yeah, we just need to, right? Okay, be gone then, tree. And then, basically, I think for right now we should go down. Can we go down even further? I don't think that would be wise. But now we should be able to. And now we're like right above the water. I don't want to go above the deep bit of the water. Because that will give me troubles with hooking the thing back up. Well, this should be doable. And it is. Very nice. And then basically all that we really need to do is work our magic around here. Oh, good. Just in time. All right, so now we can get the uh, the benchification done. Because we really need to. Uh, there. And because we have these slopes in there every time, those are like the perfect spots for trash cans. Man, do I love it. Right, Um. then what we're going to do is... Uh, you know what, let's get like a handy dude assigned to this area, but <laughs> any further future ride that we're gonna build here probably will need like an extra handy dude. I'm not sure if we will have really that many rides over here on this area. We'll see. We could do that. Um, would it be possible, just thinking out loud, to get like another jet ski type thing here? Not that we really need it, but how cool would it be, right? <laughs> uh, we'll see. We'll, we'll see if, if that's going to be uh, possible. For now, though, let us first uh, open up the path and then uh, get all the shops and stalls out there. Um, there we go. And yeah, time to get crazy with this. <laughs> we want them. We need them. We need to get the award. Because <laughs> the award is what will win us this park. <laughs> That's not true, but I, li I like to get the bathroom award. And knowing now that the costs of the shops and stalls are really neglectable, <laughs> might as well go crazy a little bit. Not too much, but a little bit? Yeah, definitely. Um, let's see... We should be able to cram in like an extra one, like over here, for example. Definitely. Uh, let's do that. And then let's also get like a donut shop, like over here, for example. Yes. And then perhaps also like a chicken thing, chicken joint, like over here. <laughs> you instantly know when it breaks down. <laughs> and then uh, maybe like a sugar thing, like right over here. Yeah. Nice, okay, very nice. So now we got a decent amount of shops and stalls. Let us see what we're gonna build next. Oh, and by the way, you got a 5.66. I would have imagined that to be higher, to be honest, because it goes into the underground. It has like a few steep drops. 
basically this is like from this point on is really high it goes down like really low and i don't really see why you know why the ratings are not like at a six but i guess we'll never know maybe if we do scenerize it a little bit more than then maybe but Regardless, what we're really trying is the Toilet Award. <laughs> it sounds so stupid saying it like that, <laughs> but it is true. We're really after the Toilet Award. I want it. <laughs> it is my award. <laughs> also, I am seeing potential here for one of our next projects. Not the one that we're going to do right now, because I was looking at the cycle way and I was like, yeah, <laughs> it's gonna have to happen. You know, we're gonna have to build this. I can't help it. It has to, it has to take place now. I've seen the design in my head, so we shall realize it. Um, not really gonna have like an ultra long queue on this. So also we're gonna have to uh, do a little bit of magic with the station. I feel. No, I think we're gonna have to do more uh, magic with the shovel. <laughs> Coming to think of it, <laughs> it's not gonna have to be magic with the station. No. <laughs> now, how many cycles do you already have? It's already 12. Okay. If I were to remove station uh, pieces. Now, I've also read in the comments that uh, apparently the longer you make the station, the uh, more expensive the ride's gonna be, which to me makes absolute sense. Don't know about you, <laughs> but for me, that sounds very logical. So, knowing that, um, let me see. Because basically, we just need to carve our way through the terrain here. Uh, and then go like this, which will probably be a bit of removing of trees and a lot of money wasting. But it should be doable. Yeah, nice. And that's and that's already it for this bit. So now, so let's get the view back to normal. Look, and now we're just gonna move all the way out till here and do like an S-band. And then another one. Sharp curve. And then now they can see like, oh man, I just cycled this really long stretch and now I have to do it again. Yes, again. <laughs> oh, this is the worst track design. <laughs> But I love it, <laughs> because it's so bad. <laughs> uh, oh, there's a tree in the way now. I guess so. There. Now all we need to do is just circle back towards the station with a curve like this. And done. Nice. Alright, so apparently whilst I was constructing this and I have to admit that I wasn't really taking a slow pace with it, we made money during the construction. <laughs> yeah, it can all happen here, you know, it happens. Right, now also I'm curious, like, will we have had the toilet award? The, would it say... No, I don't think we had the award, so... Alright, fine. Also, I only see, like, two names of get named guests in the park right now. So, I guess what's happening is that uh, someone left. So, let's add uh, a new one. And you're gonna be the Martian Geek. There, yeah, welcome to the park, mate. Um, nice, and you are a rich boy. And you already enter happy, so... Yeah, <laughs> what else could we want, right? Happy guests right from the get-go. Without any effort, basically. Um, now, let me see. What can we do here to... Okay, let's remove that. Raise or lower the land? Fine. Um... 
then yeah that's basically how it's gonna be uh, of course we will make this green but look they're done because <laughs> this this ride will actually be way too long <laughs> to be any <laughs> any good for real <laughs> So, we'll open it up, but no, actually it might not be that bad. I'm just not sure about how good it's going to be with nothing next to it. But that's for the moment, because it is going to change with... Uh, and then it will have stuff next to it. However, uh, that's not going to be right away. Uh, though, I will build more shortly, because I do want to build something else. Uh, it's been like, yeah, let's get that. How shall we name this? Why don't we call this <laughs> Frightmare Mountain? <laughs> no, 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 no. No, we won't. We won't do this. But um, maybe we shall call this. Um, yeah. A cycle. How? What, what kind of creepy name is there for bicycle stuff, huh? I don't really know. Why don't we call this Downhill Extreme? <laughs> Which it is totally not, because <laughs> you're not even allowed to have uh, vertical changes. <laughs> but whatever, you know. <laughs> That's, those are details. Not important details, I say. As for the track colors, are we going to go with like uh, something like this? No. I think gray looks all right. Black supports. I don't really want the... Ooh. How does the creepy green look? We have that already quite a bit over here. Let's go with uh, something else. I kind of like this, if I'm honest. Maybe even with, like... Uh, can we go with, like... No, 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 that, lo that looks bad. And how does brown look? I think I like black the most, to be honest. Yeah, black adds the most to it. Good, okay, downhill extreme is a thing then. Uh, let's quickly get this sorted so that... Well, did I just double rotate? <laughs> it seems like it. <laughs> I wanted this view, but <laughs> whatever. <laughs> I did the quick double slam on the rotate man. <laughs> He's sad. <laughs> yeah, MC damage. All right. Good. Now, I don't think we really will need uh, an extra uh, handy dude uh, for the bicycle rail. But for the next ride, we might as well. Because I saw a hoo-ha tower. I want it. Hoo-ha towers are good. Also, do we know... And we now we get another tower. We get the Roto Drop. Very good. Let's put the hoo-ha belly right over here, overseeing the lake. We don't really need this to go too high. Something like this. Uh, and then... Let us have the entrance here. So we can have, like, a real easy hookup basically and then we have the roto drop already wow it's going crazy with the towers uh, we won't build that like straight away <laughs> basically because we we just have like the hoo-ha belly <laughs> we don't really need to have the uh, roto drop now as for like uh, queue length and all that stuff uh the the tower never really has had issues with uh, long queue times or anything. So let me see what happens if I were to add, uh, you know, to go to height thirty or speed ninety three on this. Well, <laughs> I'll be damned. <laughs> Look at this; it goes straight to the top, <laughs> and I just click like, yeah, probably this will be right, you know. I think my gut feelings are coming back to me. <laughs> All the beer I've been drinking, <laughs> my feelings are fine-tuned now. <laughs> uh, right, okay. So, um, let's name this... Uh, uh, how about uh, Fallen Angel? It's not really spooky, but... Well, it's not spooky at all, really. 
Maybe maybe we should rename oh rename this. I don't know. We'll see. We'll we'll get back on renaming it. Uh, I do want like a dark green. Uh, and then I don't want, really want like a red thing in there. I want like this with like a black. Does this look creepy? If we were to go with this, uh, that doesn't look alright. I don't like it. No, I think then gray would look better. But then I don't know. The core, the core doesn't look right to me. It just doesn't. Let's go with uh, something like this, and then maybe white. Maybe we can have this. And then like a dark red with like a lighter red. So red, white and I don't know, yeah. I I maybe, you know, like a fallen angel. Maybe he got like uh murdered <laughs> by his father <laughs> and then uh, you know and, and, and that's why he's red, smearing it up and down the pole. Yeah. Alright, good. We have the uh we have the right set up. <laughs> That's all we need. Now, I do know that we also need one more thing for this. And that is definitely a handy dude specialized in keeping clean <laughs> this area around it. Because, <laughs> yeah, there's going to be vomit. <laughs> I can guarantee it. Also, do we really need an extra mechanic now that we've started uh, slamming down rides over here in this area? For now, I say we don't. We'll see how it goes, uh, you know, what, how it turns out later. For the time being, I'll say we don't need it. But we'll see. We'll, we'll have to see. Now, here's the plan for what I wanted to build all along, right? Okay. If we open up our trusted coaster view and go over here, we have the crazy wooden rodent uh, coaster. We also have a nice bit of tight space over here where I think we can easily fit a rodent coaster. And ideally, we'd have it uh, in such a way that... But what I would like to do is have it actually get out here. But what we could also do is build it up a little bit higher, like, what, say, like, on the same height as over here. No, no, no. Because if we do that, then the track's going to run over here, and this is going to be the same height. So that's not going to work out. So we do need, we do want to be below this. But what we can do is, like, right from the station, just have a, a steep drop. Like, you know, the moment the, the, the mice is l launched, from the station, shoof, down. And that's gonna be in the underground. Um, and... <sighs> See, here's the issue that I have with it. <laughs> that is that I want it to hook up over here. If we do that, uh, we, we simply cannot have the station start over here and be like this. So, what we can do is have the station be like this. Yeah. Well, that will work. We can kind of do the same trick then. And then... Because here's what I wanted to do. That's why I was looking at this a bit. I kind of want to go into the underground, go down, and then resurface over here, utilize this uh, hill with a drop, and then move our way back uh, over here and do do some cool track designing around this area and then get back. Yeah, I like that. We're, we're gonna do that. Just that. Uh, station's gonna be like this then. That will also make it much, much easier for us to hook the thing up. It's not gonna be like a duo coaster because uh, we've done that in like the previous park. So... And I don't really like repeating the same trick over and over. You know? It's not really my style. Also, we should be able to get away with uh, something like this. <laughs> wow. Uh, I like it. I like it. Um, 
there? Probably here, that's better. Right, okay, so then what we do is we just drop the thing down. Look. <laughs> and then... L let us think of where the thing needs to head uh, for starters because if we were to uh, you know line it up for like a lift here basically all I want is to move around get on the right line of tiles and then start construction of the lift so that should not entail too many fancy things and I believe that the right line of tiles is over here so what if we were to lift it up? Yeah, that's not gonna happen. So, let us move a little bit more over here. Into the right area first. And... Basically, I want to get steeper right here already, actually. So. Nice! Nice! Look at this! Now we can start to utilize the height of this uh, hill to the max uh, what we can. Well, I feel like that's gonna be over like right there already. Uh, I think this is basically uh, the limit of what is possible. And also, I know we could probably go down even lower, but I feel like that would not add much more to the coaster. In fact, <laughs> I just now saw that we cannot do that, <laughs> so let's not. <laughs> uh, but yeah, look, 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 look at the steepness of it all. Um, so, having lifted this, uh, basically, what I feel like we should do is... Because the best would be if we were if we are able to go into the underground once again. But I also want to head over to this area and fill up this bit of the park. Uh, if we don't, I'll build some other ride here. But I'd like this coaster to do it and not because <laughs> see. And someone commented as well, and I want to give like a quick reaction, you know, on that. That someone commented like saying like how the curve the lifts, you know, like. Where you go steep uh, and then lift, steep, lift, you know, and basically create like a curve. It's like ugly and unrealistic and sure, you know, you're all, you, you have a point and uh, I don't disagree, it's unrealistic and all that. But this is just so ugly. It's just like a grid in what is, uh, for the rest, looking rather cool. And then you have like this curtain, this this wall of color that's just support. <laughs> and I really dislike that. I dislike that more than having an unrealistic lift. So, yeah, you know, and I, 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 personally, I don't even think it looks that bad, you know. Uh, so, anyway, uh, back to the coaster, you know, having done my rant to the rant. <laughs> Maybe what we can do is uh, try and see if we can, um, because we need to go up a little bit and then just move uh, over here. If we go up a little bit, maybe we can drop like right below the 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 tube and then get here and then get even further below here. Though ideally, if we the, the the best course for this curve for this coaster track would be to not go over here, but to do it this way around, do some track stuff, and work its way back towards over here. So, as much as I would like to go up with the track, let us not do that here. Let us do that here. And let's assume that this will work just fine. Okay, uh, that's a big assumption here, because apparently <laughs> we are not allowed <laughs> to go above this uh, this ride that we have there. Right. So if that uh, in that case, uh, and also we are not allowed the tree <laughs> apparently. <laughs> so fine then, game. Fine then. Uh, now, can we, hold on, I don't even see where the hell we're building, 
I don't think this is turning out that great. I feel like we've dropped too much height here. Um, what are the path markers? Oh yeah, hello. They're at pa they're at height 15. So basically, what we need to do is get ourselves one higher. And then, <laughs> this, you know, those curvy bits, they're just because I can. <laughs> you know, we don't really need to do them, <laughs> but because I can, right? And that's enough reason <laughs> to do them. <laughs> so, how cool is this, though? Now, as for, like, track design, um, what's happening is we're going down, we're going up, we're going... Uh, down and then up and then down so I think right now we'll have decent pace so we don't really need to uh, you know lower the track like straight away so we can basically what we can do right now is just do some cool shenanigans so uh, let's get the uh, come on come on let's get this out there so and then let's just do something like this. And now we're at height 11. And look how cool this is. Ba basically, we are like right next to uh, the cycle thingy. And I think <laughs> you can all see where this is going <laughs> right now. <laughs> and you're totally right. It is going exactly like that. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, and I believe that if we were to go above this toilet and then somewhere like this, this should basically be it. And it, this should be a really solid coaster design, if, I, if I'm honest. Also, I'm looking at our money and I'm thinking, yeah, this was a really solid coaster design. <laughs> We haven't spent a, a penny too much. <laughs> That's what it comes down to. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> More of this plix. <laughs> um, now, there is mine trucks. I'm not really going to use them. Because they make the thing, you know, take handle curves different. And you really need to design your track with that. And I don't really like it, so... Hopefully, this coaster will be cool enough, you know. It has an underground section. Not entirely sure. It might also be way too high paced, uh, to be honest. But, you know, as always, or well, not as always, but as, as is often the case, <laughs> you guys are the guys to tell me, because <laughs> I will be constructing a queue here. It's not going to be too high, but we, de on, we definitely want something like that, at least. So, and this should be not really that much of a deal. Nice. And there we go. Oh, yeah. And also, what we... Oh, nice. I, I see the pace here at which this uh, happens. And I'm thinking, like, hell yeah. That's really nice. That's very nice. And at 30, it will not crash. I say... I wouldn't say perfect, but pretty perfect. <laughs> Very nice. I do hope, though, that the lateral Gs, like right at the start, are nothing too crazy. Well, they don't really seem to be. They seem to be all rather nice within the, like, two and a half uh, limits. So, <gasps> this could be really good. I'm not sure though, we'll have to see, but at least I know that A, it enters the station at like 30 kilometers an hour, so that means it won't crash uh, by the time it reaches the, this over here, and B, it isn't that long, I mean, in terms of like uh, the ride length, we are at just under a minute. For 12 cars, the 5 second thing is actually just okay, <laughs> so that's pretty good man, I like it. Uh, I'm not sure if it will be grand, but I like the design. It's not like my usual really compact cake type thing, you know, it's just a clump of wood. <laughs> it is actually something cool. 
So now then, um, what we will do is we will hire a fix mechanic for this coaster because I don't want it to be broken down for any longer than necessary um, if it happens. So there, right. Now we uh, have a coaster. Uh, what we should do is give it a name. Um, what are we going to name this? Probably should try and get a cool rodent name. <laughs> yeah. Why don't... Hmm. Why, why don't we call this... Uh, the... Uh, oh yeah. The Elliptid Bane. Uh, that sounds creepy. That's just fantasy uh, style. What's a creepy thing? Yeah, I don't know. I'm I'm already thinking of like zombies and uh, and and all that stuff. But <laughs> I'm not sure if that's uh, if if that's the right thing. I don't know. How about we call this whispers of doom? Yeah, that sounds creepy, right? I mean, when you depart, you're just plunged into the underground. And then just pray for your return. I like it. I like it. We're gonna run with that. And because it's wood... And this is the bit where, which I just despise. I don't want this. This makes it way too black. No, just straight up no. Even worse. Uh... Hmm. Doable. Also doable. More doable, actually. Uh, very bad. Even worse. Yeah, there's basically nothing that really goes well with this, other than this color supports. So we'll we'll run with that, All right? And then uh, we won't go with the creepy green. We will go with the creepy blue. And we shall have these be purple and dark red. And I believe those will be like the eyes. Maybe we'll have these be bright red. Can we have like a more... Yeah, not this, this, this is it. Bright red on purple. It actually contrasts rather nicely, you know. Look, see the contrast here? It's like some naturally contrasting colors. I like it. Nice. I am curious to the ratings, though. I don't believe we have them. No, we don't. So that's a thing that we're going to discover next time when we play more Roller Coaster Tycoon.